Today, I'm going to show you how to make worry stones out of polymer clay. So worry stones are little stones where it has a spot in the middle to rub your thumb. And then that is a calming effect that will make you feel better. So we're going to use polymer clay. This is a kind of clay that you can bake in the oven after you make whatever creation you're making. And we're going to use two little pieces and marble them together. This clay starts off really hard, so you have to knead it together with your hands. You have to use some muscle to begin with. It is very hard, but the more you press it together and knead it in your fingers, the warmer it gets and the softer it gets. So you have to knead it for a while until it's nice and soft, and you're gonna do this with both pieces. Once you have both pieces soft, you're going to roll them into coils. Just back and forth on the paper, long skinny coils. And you're gonna do one with each color. Then we're going to put the coils together and roll them together into one longer coil. Then to make it a marbled effect, you can fold your coil in half, roll it again. You can twist your coil, roll it again. You just kind of play around with it as you keep folding it, rolling it, twisting it, rolling it until you get the desired effect that you would like. If you do this too much, you're just going to end up mixing your colors together completely. So make sure you stop at a certain point and leave it alone. Once your colors are mixed together the way you want, squish it all together and roll it into a ball of clay. You want it to be nice and round. This is going to be your stone. Find a spot where you like the look of it for your thumb imprint, and you're gonna use the inside of your thumb where it's going to be rubbed and just push it right down in the middle. Smooth away your little fingerprint marks and then leave it alone. The back of it's going to be flat and then your thumbprint is going to be right in the middle, nice and smooth because you rubbed it gently. Next, we're going to bake these in the oven and just follow the directions on the packaging for the clay that you bought. And then once it is baked in the oven, you have your own worry stone. <laughs>